Hello, hello. We are back for another episode of Dove and Clover, episode eight. This whole show takes place during season two of our Cirque Sofei campaign, where the party left their friend Dove behind with Bavlorna Blightstraw in exchange for retrieving a painting from her sister. If they bring it back within eight days, she will give Dove and their lost items back. However, Bavlona has no intent on keeping this bargain and has made sure the party is going to hit delays on their return. In a desperate hope to help herself and warn her friends, Dove sent out Clover, her little animal friend, her stuffed animal, which came to life during her time here at Bavlona's, sent him away to warn her friends with a message. It was a painful loss, so now we continue the adventures of Dove. Dove. Yes. You say goodbye to Clover. Mm hmm And as they leave, you find yourself back at work once again. Bavlorna, it's the last day of your intended stay here. Your friends should be arriving soon. And Bavlorna is having a feast to celebrate because she knows they will not be arriving on time. Her and her little minions are stuffing their face full. These little minions are just eating the scraps that fall from her jaw and scatter onto the table. She's once again making a horrendous mess you'll need to clean up. But of course, you have other plans. This meal is the perfect distraction. Should you wish to retrieve the key to the attic door from her person as she stuffs her face. <laughs> you bring over another goblet of rants it wine and she just gobbles it up okay i think is it perhaps possible she showed me what side she literally patted it i think mm -hmm. on the side that she patted she's going to as she brings another food item or maybe another glass of wine i think it'll be like a you know when you like a waiter swip like gets behind you when you're sitting at a table and you, and they mm -hmm. kind of, yeah, to the side of you, put something in front of you. I think with that, she'll maybe gently hover a hand over her. Okay. And try and slip it into the pocket. One of your actual hands or one of your spectral arms? I think... A spectral arm will be the one to grab it because her real hand is going to like steady on Bavlorna's back, like a you know, like a oh, le excuse me, let me get by you kind of <coughs> situation. <coughs> She's wolfing food down. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Okay, I've saved an inspiration and I'm ready to use it, but hopefully, I'm. I'm going to re-roll that. You're going to use the inspiration? I will. Go for it. A 19. <laughs> you gently pluck a key from her person. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Just clean up when I'm done. <laughs> she swats you away. Actually flicks you in the face. It hurts a little bit. Okay. Take as long as you need. I hope it's good. <laughs> just food just pouring from her mouth. Her little frog-like minions. <laughs> eating it all up. Okay. You have the key. What would you like to do? Myself. I will excuse myself since, uh, since she's not ready yet for me. Okay. You back out I of the room. Can I slip in through the kitchen to Bloody Toes? Sure. 
I'm just gonna, well, like, I think in between all these, like, she's been keeping Bloody Toes updated because, like, she's assuming Bloody Toes is, like, a partner in crime now. Like, we're in this together. <laughs> Are you able to get it? Yes, I have it. Yeah. She's still all not right. done. I'm gonna go it's... back up there. I got just the thing for her. And Bloody okay. Toes pulls out a large cake covered oh. in mold. I've been saving this for a little while. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna now be you great. get going. And remember, you find a way to free me. You gotta find my first kill. You gotta find my first kill. Of course. And after we're done and we're both free, I'm sure you'll have many more. And then I won't have to scream when you cut the broccoli. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe Bavlorna can be your second. And she'll give oh. like a little playful, like a little playful nudge, and she'll go. <laughs> yes, go, go, go. Okay. Bavlorna, I have a treat for you. He starts waddling in there, holding this massive cake. The cake's about as tall as he is. It looks almost like a I wedding cake, but iconic. tinged green with little bits of black mold on it as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, she's going to scurry up. Quietly, hopefully. You scurry up to the attic. Racing up there. You enter once again into her bedroom. That small blue light orbits around the room. It circles around you, up above the ceiling, just watching. I think in Sylvan, she's going to say to the orb, You want a way out. I don't know if Bavlorna keeps you here against your will. But I would like to free you if I can. A the orb like you... continues to circle. As She's if just... it didn't even hear you. Okay. Alright. I think she'll make another general, like, perception check around the room just to see if anything's changed since she's last here. Nothing that you notice, no. Okay, nothing's changed. All right. Who go into the... Uh... Yeah, she'll go into the room. Okay. You sneak into the other room using the key that you found. The door unlocks. <laughs> and opens up again that dingy attic, the mannequin to the side with the brilliant helm, boxes of refuge, and that bronze frog. She's nervous about it, but it's the only place she hasn't checked. You creep over to it once again. I think she's going to, she's just thinking of like all the things that have been lost as she approaches this frog, just thinking about Nyssa and what she's lost and what Dove has lost and even what Bloody Toes has lost. Just kind of realize, like that's what she's focused on as she's, she's thinking of these three things. Mm -hmm. Just like, this is what I need to find. This is why I'm doing it. It's worth it. Like, just kind of giving her, like, she's pepping herself up to put her hand. And she's gonna pull out her astral arms and kind of put them on the lip of the frog, like, kind of to brace herself and reach her real hand in as she's thinking okay. of her friends. 
you reach your real hand in, and as you do, it's bitter cold inside. You feel nothing, though. Just feeling around her little hand, just... Ness Nessa? As you say Nessa's name, you feel something. What? What? You feel something I... like metal, cold, touch your oh. hand. She's gonna grab it. You pull. What does she and out, out from inside... A pair of glasses with rubies for lenses. What are these? You remember Vansell talking about something he was lent from Bavlorna. These aren't his glasses, are they? They look like what he described. Gold glasses with ruby lenses. And I... I grabbed them as soon as she said Nissa? Yes. What happens if she puts them on? The world looks... red. Rose tinted. Nice. I feel like I'm having a revelation. <laughs> you can feel there's magic in these lenses. Oh no. I think is she I think she's wise enough. I don't think she's She'll put them in her pocket. And she's going to do the same, but she's going to say bloody toes when she reaches in. Just like a same positioning of propping herself like on the lip of the of the frog with her astral arms and reaching her real hand in. As you reach your hand in, you pull out a blade which is dripping with blood. You can feel magic coming off of this, too. <gasps> oh. I, she's going to tuck it away. You tuck it into your belt. And she will leave the last one for herself. Just... Do dove? And she'll reach in. You reach in, and as you do, one moment, you pull out. Let's see. You pull out a little doll. Actually, my mistake. The doll looked more like this. Oh. Yet, it looks like that? Hi there! Oh. Hi! Hi! How are you? Oh, I'm horrible! Oh, is that a good thing for you? Or a bad thing? Yeah, it's a bad thing. Oh. Well, how... Would you like to not be horrible? Nope. Oh, okay. What are you doing in there? It seems a pretty dark and cold place to stay. Oh no, it's quite warm and pleasant. Oh, would you like to go back in? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to go back in. What's your name, good sir? Bobby. Bobby, how'd you get in there in the first place? In there? Yeah. I've never been in there. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> hey, Bobby. Uh, what's what's your name again? My name. Yeah. Davy. Oh. Funny. Would you mind if I just... I'm just gonna open... I'm just gonna kinda... And she's gonna start, like, opening up this... Like, if she can, the stall. Hey! Hey! No! Ah! And Bobby disintegrates in your hands. And as he does, suddenly, you feel magic rush into you. For the first time in your life, Dove, since you were eight years old, you feel complete again. You feel... You feel like you... You're finally whole again. Tears well up in your eyes as you haven't felt this complete since that night at the circus. This is good. She's a little overcome, but I think, but I think this is just true to life, unfortunately for Dove. She is immediately like thinking of Bloody Toes and Nyssa and how nice this must feel. And she's gonna run to Bloody Toes. You turn to the door. You find something you're looking for, hmm? Yes, I did. Thought you were sly, huh? Well, there's no need for me to be sly. If you're going to keep me here forever, I might as well have back what's mine. <laughs> I told you, girl. If you couldn't be obedient, if you couldn't be a good little girl, a good little servant, you'd be a nice little snack. Can she yell for bloody toes? You go to scream as you see Bavlorna's jaw hyperextending. <laughs> she lunges towards you. Can she throw to make a bite out? Attack. Okay. Can she throw out the two items? She doesn't want to be swallowed with Nissa and Bloody Toes item. Roll initiative. Okay. Ah. You win the initiative as Bavlorna lunges towards you, ah! trying to bite you. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to bonus action dodge. And I am going, is it possible, can I throw the two items, like the, the, the glasses and the blade, can I throw them towards the door and scream for bloody toes? You can throw them towards the door or you see that window, yeah. uh, actually to the right of us on our overlay, there's a window in this attic. If you want, you can throw them towards the window or out the window. She's going to throw them out the window and yeah, she's going to and, and yell for bloody toes. You throw these items out the window. You watch as they go soaring, landing into the swamp. Blink, they splash and for a moment they float but are slowly being pulled into the swamp as you scream. Bloody toes! They're in the swamp outside of the top window. Go get it. Bavlorna, on her turn, will make an attack at disadvantage. A bite at you. An attack at disadvantage? Why disadvantage? Because I used to dodge as my bonus action. That is true. Okay. Does a 23 hit you? Yes. You take 15 piercing damage. Okay. You are grappled. Fuck! Really? As a bonus action. 
No, George, no. You feel her mouth close around your head with this bite, and you feel the piercing, and then as a bonus action, she pulls you in <laughs> and swallows you. At the start of your next turn, you take 11 acid damage. I have one hit point. Darkness is circling around you, Dove. What would you like to do? Well, she can't call from inside. She's got to hope that Bloody Toes hurt her. With the last hit point, I think she's going to... I don't know if she even can. She's going to call out to Court's patron. Make a wisdom saving throw at disadvantage. Okay. In 18. I want to ask, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. You call out to Court's patron once again. This time, it seems even bigger than it was before. What do you want? You feel so small in its presence now. Oh. I know this is what you wanted to tear me to shreds. But if you're going to do that, can you at least tear her to shreds? You wish to bargain with me? A life for a life. Yes. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Seven. She's not very persuasive when she's dying. It does go that way sometimes. You have nothing to offer. And the shadows rush over you. And everything goes dark for Dove. That is where we will end, and this story will resume as the party arrives at Bavlorna's, potentially in Episode 7 or possibly Episode 8 of Cirque Sophie. So don't miss those. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye.